Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between. Thank you for sticking with us. My name is Kexman. I'm joined by Gallu and Eddie. It is the Method Mayhem Battleground Invitational. We've currently had we've we've already had some absolutely banger matches so far this uh, so far this tournament, but we have another one set up for us next. Obviously, we have Speedrun, who were in our last tournament as Speedrun Any Percent. They've shortened it down to Speedrun, and we now have German Heroes, uh, Speedrun versus German Heroes, as our next match. Really excited for this one. I mean, we've already seen German Academy. What could German Heroes have in store for us, Eddie? German Heroes, they are definitely a, a team that is known throughout the ladder. German Heroes has been existing for a few years now, led by Sydney. Sydney started playing when he was a, a young rogue. He, he came into the scene and I think he was like 16 or 17 years when he entered the RPG scene. And since that day, he has been maybe been called the, the, the new coming of Mikos, you know. Germany, Germany has always had one big leader in... If, in the in the old days, it was Mikos. Then you can say maybe uh, eat my dance, and now now Sydney is taking over um, with every dance. They they are the new on the block, and I think German heroes they they always the, the funny part about them is they're always winning until they lose. I know it's a bad saying, <laughs> but it's actually what is the truth. <laughs> Galu, how do you feel about this next matchup? Is there anything you are expecting out of these two teams? Uh, should be a good match. Uh, there's a lot of good players on speed run. I think particularly Emidar is really, really good. Elune's really good healer. And uh, Ace is really good and strong as well. It's just a lot of the players on both teams are really good. we got Vilder as well on German Heroes. He's a really big name. And I, I, who yeah. is leading these German Heroes? You say it's Sydney. Sydney, yeah, yeah. He he is definitely the leader uh, yeah, for sure. I've played many games with this man. He's a very good leader so i think this should be a good game to see how about a how about chat who does chat think is going to take this is is it going is it going to be speedrun or do you think german heroes are going to take it well you can now vote we do have a vote up for the best of three who's going to take the best of three is it one speedrun or is it number two german heroes who's going to be taking it there's an immediate favorite that has kind of raced ahead of absolutely everybody here um so yes we do have speedrun versus german heroes is there any uh, any map that you're specifically looking forward to eddie for these two teams to to start off this series I mean, I think honestly that any map is great. I think both teams are very well organized. I think both teams has so much experience that there's not any map they really prioritize over another. Maybe speedrun is favoring the objective maps. You remember Ula Hinyo also, you know, a great tank as well, who, who is a great t a tactician. So honestly, I think it's, they don't really care, honestly, if, about this. And that's why I think it's, it's a great matchup, right? Because they're so close. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they have to bring their A game if they want to take the victory. Well, I think any team's going to have to bring their A game if they want to take victories because, you know, I mean, we're taking a look at some of the teams here. And yes, E Heroes have obviously won. Uh, you know, they, they beat Shame pretty comfortably. Um, you know, as we do see the brackets here, uh, we can obviously see E Heroes uh, currently against Big Burst of Vic. We see German Academy have moved on up, obviously, with their victory over Ghosting Farm. In the lower brackets, Shame are known, unknown. Uh, obviously, that's going to be our first losers bracket. Uh, that's going to be our first loser bracket match, and then Ghosting Farm is going to take on the loser of this one. And could we potentially see here, Galu, German Academy versus German Heroes in the upper bracket? Could we see it this early in the tournament? Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, why not? If he, Eddie said both these teams are very well matched, so I see absolutely no reason why it couldn't be the two Germans facing off against each other. Oof. Oh, that's 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 going to be really interesting to see if we get that. But uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors before we go anywhere. Obviously, I uh, want to give a massive, massive shout out to Champion once again, uh, giving us the fantastic Method merch. Get yourself nice and cozy. Get yourself nice and cozy with some of this, some of these brilliant designs that we have here, as well as the Method blanket. Super, super comfortable. Exclamation point, Champion. Exclamation point, merch in the chat. 
you can check out all of that. And I also want to give a brilliant shout out over to DBM, exclamation point DBM. Not only does it cover all of your PvP, PvE needs, it also covers all of your PvP gaming needs as well. Uh, prediction timers in Battleground, spell alerts, everything along that sort of line that you could, that you could imagine in a battleground that you want to know dbm will be able to give you that uh, be sure to check it out for 9.2 as well they will have updated stuff for 9.2 so once again exclamation point dbm check that out and the crowdfunding that we have for this tournament too um exclamation point crowdfunding exclamation point donate you can directly donate to the prize pool for this tournament and on top of that every subscription to the method channel while this event is live will contribute two dollars fifty to the prize pool get access to an ad free viewing experience unlock sub emotes and generate channel points at an increased rate which you can redeem to interact with things on the stream or while supporting your favorite teams so make sure you check that out as well but it's time for us to spin map roulette for these two teams here chat what do you want to see as we spin the wheel between speedrun and german heroes are we going to get something really interesting to start off with or are we going to get twin peaks again let's find out we are currently waiting for the map to spin. It looks as though we're keeping the suspense just a little bit longer. The plan is that we are going to find out exactly what map is going to be. There we go. There we go. We were just double checking just to make sure that it, we were oiling everything, making sure that it was going to run nice and smoothly <laughs> here. Um, German Heroes and yes. Speedrun. And it looks as though it has just ticked over, obviously, it to a Rathi Basin. Now... A Rathi Basin, you mentioned, Eddie, that they're pretty, you know, German heroes are pretty comfortable on any of these maps here, but we've also seen just how effective speedrun can be in the previous method mayhem. So time will tell. We have obviously had, there is a slight change between speedrun between this uh, tournament and the previous yeah. one that we saw, uh, because a lot of the players uh, that were, or I say a lot of the players, I think there was about five or six players that were part of speedrun in the last method mayhem have gone on to play for E-Heroes. Uh, in this tournament so again we're going to see something slightly different on the side of speedrun but arathi basin first time we've seen it this weekend pretty excited to see how this is going to pan out for the teams yeah and i think if we recall to the previous tournament where we had speedrun versus um the german academy and also german heroes german heroes were up a point they had the three bases but they end up throwing the game so they have proven to to be able to to get leads and i so uh, what do we expect going in here? I think we're going to see a very, very traditional AB. It's going to be two Guardians on mines. It's going to be a Rogue on each starting base. They're both going to ghost. Now the trick is, are they going to go for each other's bases or are they going to go help the Guardian? And then we're going to see a healer and a DPS brawl it slowly in middle and then a big fight Ilum, where we will have the Nox and the DKs. So honestly, I, I, I think it comes down to what the rogues are going to do. So I hope we're going to follow the rogues because where do they choose to go? Do they go mines? Do they go for staples? Because it's usually ghosted in the opener. So so I think it's going to be very exciting. What do you think, Gallo? Do you have anything you you in particular feel like, oh, this player or this class is, is my favorite for AB? I mean, I'm not really uh, familiar too much with these teams at the moment. But uh, yeah, as you said, the rogues are always the people to have your eye on in a Rathi Basin. If they will go see open, I'm just wondering what the delay is on the stream, because <laughs> maybe One there minute. might be some uh, cheeky gaming going on. But uh, I think, yeah, definitely the rogues going, going for the ninjas. Maybe people might just team fight in the middle as well. Who knows? It's, uh, I mean, it's anyone's game, really. You said these teams are very equal, and I trust your judgment. Yeah, I'm excited to see exactly what happens. What's going to be the, you know, what's going to be the big play from, you know, from either of these teams in Arathi Basin. We know just how important it is to make sure that you not only are able to take the points that you want to take, but also that you are able to defend the points that you wish to keep hold of as well. And Arathi Basin, I would probably say, is the, uh, you know, if... I, I would say a lot of these maps, obviously, we see some of the rogues do some fantastic work on stuff like Warsong Gulch, Twin Peaks. Obviously, they're very, very effective damage-wise. But Arathi Basin is the is the singular map, Gelly, where I think a rogue can realistically make or break your victory here. If you are able to get a good rogue, then Arathi Basin is going to be a lot easier for you than, you know, what you would expect if, you know, if you don't necessarily have that rogue available to your team. Yeah, I mean, you have your leader as the rogue in German Heroes, so he might be able to make some good calls and uh, move people around as he wishes. 
Whereas on speedrun, you have Smokey, who is actually quite a good rogue in himself as well. So, I mean, both rogues are really equally matched, I would say. Yeah, yeah it's it's very, very true. I mean, you take a look at what we expect from both of these teams, and, you, you know, you look down the board. I mean, this is the, the last set of teams, so all of these teams that you've seen so far are the teams that have been in the, uh, you know, that, that have been in this tournament. Obviously, German Academy, Ghosting Farm, Known Unknown, um, you know, Big Burst of Ick, E E-Heroes, Shame, they're all, you know, they're all really, really good teams. You know, you don't take that away from them. If you were to come up against them, obviously, when you are just, you know, with a group of friends in some raid battlegrounds, just, you know, on a, on a weekend, just getting some points. You, if you come up against them, you're going to be stomped relatively yeah. quickly. Um, and, you know, I think between these, this, this is, you know, speedrun and German heroes, whichever one takes us onto the winner's bracket, that doesn't necessarily mean that the team that loses is, uh, is any less skillful. Yeah, and, and great point uh, you actually make that about RPGs in, in general, because sure, they may not be the best individual players, sure, they are good in RPG, but in Arena, maybe they are 2-2, two, 2-3, two, two, you know, and you're always wondering, are they really that great of players? But that's the thing about RPG, RPG is a very unexplored world. In, in essence, you have... It, it, 20 variables in the game plus the map, right? Which is way more than an arena where you only have six. So it's very easy to track cooldowns in an arena compared to these RPGs, right? So so that's it. It allows you to make more mistakes, but it also uh, is it's open for for potential, right? So I, that's why I love RPG in particular. I may not be the greatest arena player either, but this game it, it has so much stiff that uh, I think that uh, it's so amazing. And what's also amazing that was the view we just had. Great, great cinematic uh, views here from our behind the scenes production um, helping us out as well. You have to remember that they are on site 24 7 helping us with this great show. So that is also amazing. A big shout out there. And then AB, take us, uh, take us into this uh, kick SWAT. Do you feel like it's going to happen? Well, I'm just currently looking. We do see that there's a couple of differences. We do have, obviously, on the side, it looks as though on the side of German Heroes, they're running that double disc. So they're running that double disc with the with the Holy Paladin, which I think, it, you know, we saw just how important it is to make sure that fights are over quickly uh, whenever you're in a team fight on the previous map that we saw between uh, German Academy and Ghosting Farm in that Twin Peaks. Um, sorry, not in that Twin Peaks, in the uh, in the Gilneas. Whereas yeah. I feel as though, you know, on this sort of map, that's I think those two th those two disc priests actually probably work out a little bit better for German heroes than you would expect in the team fight. It all depends on how we how we actually shape up. And we also have two Boomkins on the side of German heroes against one for speedrun. So again, if we do see those team fights happen, German heroes potentially have more damage, but if they get caught up with no mana on those disc priests, it could end up being incredibly rough for them. We'll have to wait and see. The opener looks very traditional. We see two, uh, one healer each in mid. We see the double tank here at mines. Now, what are the rogues doing? Are they coming down here as well to help out? Now, Revsi is from NA and is an American player. The same for Chowman and these two. And I love my dog. These are three American players joining up on Europe here and playing. Uh, and we see top here as well. I mean, it's. I don't think any kills really will happen. I think uh, a lot come down to mines, or at least these port knocks here. As we saw, Dean, great, 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 uh, great soul shape though from from the priest to recover. But yeah, I mean, uh, Gelo here. Do, which guardian would you favor? It's a bear versus bear. Do do you feel like? It? Oh, uh, he's inked. Yeah, double rogue on stables right now with Sydney as he's trying to go for the base. Eh, leader. He gets the uh, smoke bomb down and tries to stop Lara Love getting it. Somehow Lara gets into combat. Can't connect the sap onto him. He's going to have to break off now. And that looked like that could have something going there, but uh, it just faltered flat on the space. Yeah, especially they chose to ink the the rogue, which was a, a great a great choice, if you ask me, because they know the guardian is mine, so the rogue is the most exposed. And then here, him, yeah, they don't. <laughs> And now it's very rough, right? With the mines lost, it means that you are now in a lead. You can play it slowly. If you are ever afraid that you will die in a team fight, you just keep inking the enemy because you will eventually win the game, right? You're you're s slowly g g gaining uh, like these two to three point leads, and 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think German heroes can get it back. It is a very hard situation in this 2v2. Uh, yeah, as you see now, they are peeling out. I assume Himi is going to go back and defend his space now, and German heroes are going to push for one of the uncontested bases and make it a 2 for 2 and then take the fight to middle. Yeah, Hilmi was so, so close to switching over those mines there. That was a, it, that was incredibly, incredibly close, but it looks like it didn't work out for it. Pretty much a stalemate we're currently seeing here in the middle of the map. German heroes speedrun doing a little bit of damage around this blacksmith, but once again, looks as though Siani has taken a bunch of damage though. Are they going to be able to survive that? Because if they drop, again, that switches the pressure over onto the rest of German heroes. Looks as though they are, but late did drop down. Late did die there, so they're without that other disc piece for the next 15 seconds. So wow. now this is potentially a ch an option for Speedrun to capitalize on this. And they have taken Lumber Mill as well. They've wow. also taken Lumber Mill. That's huge for Speedrun. German heroes are going to fall even further behind now. Are they going to be able to take this back? And once again, take a look on the side of German heroes. That other, the, the, the other disc priest is really low on mana once again that's the danger you end up in that horrible situation where you just don't have the ability to heal uh, the rest of your team and once again completely tapped and yeah. if they end up taking blacksmith as well that's going to be so difficult for speed run uh, sorry for german heroes to come back onto that one but we do see obviously there's a rogue there's the druid this could be uh Oh, this could be a defense on the side of speedrun. Looks though. Oh, there we go. I love my dog. That's a great name. You love to see names like that because dogs are the purest of creatures. Being able <laughs> to help the defense here. And this looks yes. like it is going to be held on the side of speedrun. They have three bases. And this is looking like a really solid position for them. Yeah, yeah they loyal. can't even get onto this blacksmith either. There are so many bodies there, but they just cannot take anything out. Trying to get the ninja gap on the lumber mill, but they just didn't have smoke bomb available because they used it earlier on stables and uh, I love my dog as you said coming in right at the critical moment floating excellently as they try and get some pressure onto blacksmith but they're, they're committing so many resources into this meanwhile the other bases are just ticking away and they're just losing yeah. so hard actually in this game I mean, so now, what is the thing? Many of say, ah, it is lost. No, the game is never lost. This is RBG after all, and everything can happen. And and especially on this map. Now, what is in German Heroes' advantage? And we say advantage, you know, there's not many advantages here. Oh, uh, uh, I'm going to talk about that later as we see the ink here. I don't think they will gain it. It is a double event here. Great clone on the rogue as well, neutralizing it. Porting the rogue off. Okay, the clone cancelled the port. Unfortunate for, for Dean here, but again, I don't think they will win this 2v2. Oh. Oh. Doesn't have enough DR. Ah, the soccer boss. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Um, regardless, my point was, German heroes now, I would like them to commit Sydney uh, or German uh, uh, Geho leader here to, to BS. And the reason why is... Right now, Speedrun have a lot of members floating on the map defending. You see Leolol here towards Mines, we see two on LM. So right now, German, uh, German Heroes has way more members available. I would like to see them go hard BS now, get BS, and with that momentum and the healer's dead, you probably push to either Mines or LM, you're gonna decide on what you wanna go for. I would probably favor Mines here, and as we see now here, with Mines, Ghost, and Leolol floating down here, RevC and customer support here, going for the fall cap, really, really wanna select Solidify this victory, and honestly, this is going to be hard to defend for them. Yeah, this is going to be really, really, this is going to be a real struggle for them. Are they going to take it? I mean, it's one of those situations, the pressure coming through on Blacksmith, you immediately try and take the farm there, because if you take the farm, that that effectively means that German heroes Man, have to step it. back and defend it, and they've gone for it. They've gone for it, and they're going to, if they are able to defend this, they've forecapped German heroes now. German heroes currently not scoring any points, and now, obviously, they need to push even harder at Blacksmith, but... If they don't get Blacksmith, it's, you know, they have nothing to fall back on. It looks as though we do see German heroes coming back here trying to take this, but are they going to be able to do it? Revs is still currently kind of around in the same area. It looks as though it is happening. And German heroes, are they leaving here? Wow. What's happened? I what mean, has happened? What happened was sheer demon... Dim <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it. A domination from Speedrun, forcing German heroes out of the server, literally. And honestly, great gameplay for them. I, I, I can't even phantom how this was allowed. There were two men healing mid with three bases and a healer floating towards mines. What is German heroes doing? They need to put the pressure on the plate here. They need to fight for BS first and secure that and then go. They, they were doing so many things that in the end, they just crumbled between their hands.
Yeah, it was it was not looking good. The moment that we saw Lumber taken as well, and German heroes were making absolutely no inroad. Um, absolutely no inroad here on the side of um, on the side of uh, on the side of speedrun. They, they they just speedrun were just comfortably sat there going, "Well, we've got three bases. We'll fight here all day." And German heroes just turn around and just say, "Well." You know what what do we do here they continue to fight a blacksmith they left farm completely open and speedrun took perfect advantage of that yeah this is really unbalanced game to be honest <laughs> from gg to no from gh to gg <laughs> wow <laughs> from gh to gg that was a uh, yeah that was really really rough from them i mean speedrun got a relatively good um, relatively good foothold on the map obviously they were able to take mines and i'm surprised that german heroes didn't then see mines was taken and go okay well let's have a big push on to lumber so we can at the very least get that two base but they just they just seem so focused on blacksmith and kind of as you mentioned um as you mentioned there Eddie, as well the fact that you know they, they were focused so hard on blacksmith i think they were trying to do what you said which was we gain blacksmith and then we can spread out across the map and uh yeah. you know get everything from there but yeah that was a uh that was a really really rough really rough battleground there on the side of german heroes speedrun actually playing that almost perfectly but you've got to say german heroes did make it a little bit easy for them yeah they definitely did and uh, i mean honestly i i will just give every credit to speedrun their gameplay was superb they were ghosting mines while they hold three bases because they knew german heroes know ah we they have guardian mines we're not gonna ink guardian i mean then he can ghost right they are just playing the mental game so well and ab is a mental game in the end right it's it is it is about you know trying to guess his next move if they're ghosting or, or whatever is going on right so i mean great play from speedrun i'm i'm impressed and honestly, yeah. wow, I'm impressed. I mean, speedrun by name, speedrun by nature. <laughs> what was the uh, what? What do you what would you say is the point, Galu? That kind that German heroes really started to lose control of that uh, I going mean, up against speedrun. So they had their boomkin and their rogue trying to ninja gap the entire game. But they didn't get a single base, so they effectively just had two players out of the game doing nothing. He he kept going for these smoke bomb goes, but the smoke bomb was either either too late or they just had no more DRs for it. They missed a sap in, on the Lair of Law when they tried to get Sables. That was a bit unlucky, but when they were trying to get Lumber Mill, they just, they commit Smoke Bomb at the wrong time. They uh, they don't have enough. They try to cap with like a cheap shot. I, just, I don't know. It was just very sloppy play. And so they effectively just had two players out of the game the entire time. So would you say it was it was a combination of obviously maybe a, a communication mishap or you know players just not sure of exactly what the plan was across the entirety of the Arathi Basin, Eddie? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like when when it comes to these two v two wings, it is hard, uh, especially when they are double defending. So and we saw the instantly the the the, the fury of Elun coming out from the druid, neutralizing the cap completely, even if they see. So it, it is hard and. Uh, Honestly, I mean, there's not, there's nothing to say really. I'm, I'm slightly disappointed. But again, the, with the coming of these three American players to speedrun, they have really, really upped their gameplay from the previous tournament, where they were at least more equal. But great. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm lost for worse cakes. Honestly, I think you should take over right now. I mean, yeah, it did. It did seem as though it was it was over a lot quicker than a lot of us expected. And you know, we've mentioned previously, you know, sort of like having your your leader, um, you know, calling the shots. Rogues obviously very very good in in Arathi Basin to be able to call the shots for stuff like that. Um, just how important is it to have a leader that a everybody's on the same page of, but also b kind of understands what the whole team can do uh, and and you know what they need to do on a map such as Arathi Basin, Galu. I mean, it's really important that everyone's synced and everyone's synergized. So you can have people floating very fast. You can have people, uh, you know, if you're at Blacksmith, you make sure people know one runs away. If you're trying to ninja cap a base, etc. Such as in the start with stables that I mentioned before, no one no one held off the rest of those. It just peeled off instantly. And you kind of need someone to tell you, or you need very aware players to uh, be able to stop that from happening. Which is really nice when it's usually the rogue. If he's... He's saying, okay, I'm going for the ninja now. Guys, stop the, the, them from floating off. But this just didn't happen. But I mean, th this kind of puts a, a bad mindset for GH as well, because they're going into the next game. They, 
They've literally AFK'd out of this game. So their mental is shattered. So they're going to really have to yeah. have uh, some sort of mental fortitude to keep on going. They need to yeah. reset well, and just go again. The next, uh, the next map that we have coming up is Silver Shard Mines, Eddie. Going from a roughly base into Silver Shard Mines, two very, very different maps. Would yeah. you say that you know, you know, and Gallo sort of like mentioned it there. You know, the the, the mental, the mental area of the game has kind of is, is really, really sort of like hit German heroes hard after that first one. Uh, you know, regrouping is going to be very, very important for them. Is Silver Shard Mines the right choice? Mm, I think it is. I think it's an okay choice. Silver Shard is a is a map that uh, you can throw a lot of curveballs on, and uh, maybe we're going to see three people going off card. I'm not sure what the side selection here is from each team, which is kind of important. Um, on Silver Shard Mines, Horde is, in in my theory at least, uh, on paper the best side, as you are. Uh, you secure the first off card uh, with Lava that caps first. You're the first to take it and the first to cap it, and with that you also have a momentum. You are in the in the play. You have the play hand, like, and you can choose. To do I want to go top and ink the enemy, or do I want to enforce my lava team fight and be there first, right? So Horde is really strong. So I'm not sure if uh, I think German heroes are going to be on uh, Horde side, which is to their advantage. And I hope they, they're going to use this factor and maybe then go triple off card and, and push for top after and, and, and try play around that. But um, again, speedrun has really looked hot today especially the the warlock he had uh, like every port knock was on point and it was only countered by a, a defensive spell so and and that is also a great spell on on, on silver shot mines you literally port the enemy team out of the card right so yeah um i think very effective uh, yeah very very effective so yeah, yeah. I, I hope they can do it german heroes I mean, fingers crossed. I mean, if there is if there is ever a team that I know has the skills to be able to come back onto this German heroes, one of it you mentioned there, obviously, you know, if they are on the Horde side, then that will give them something to, to really think about, something that they could potentially work with. As we all know, Horde is the best faction um, for the Horde. And I would probably say, kind of taking a look at what we saw in the previous match, I think, I, I don't know whether they're... There's an argument to be made that maybe it was a case of that their mental... Uh, you know, that they may turn around and say to themselves, they knew that they were losing. They knew that it was going to be a real tough uphill battle for them. Didn't just quite work out. And as we mentioned, you know, we saw, you know, on some of the uh, some of the previous games in Battle for Gilneas, we actually had, uh, you know, the, the you sometimes you should know when a battle is over. Sometimes you should know when to back out. And this was just a more extreme version of that one. I think the players on German Heroes kind of knew that it wasn't working out for them, and they went, okay. You know, let's uh, let's 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 reset and go for the yeah. next one. Yeah, 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 exactly. And I think mental uh, means a lot, especially in this tournament. And if you think about it, many of these RPG teams. They are not not known for for, for strong mental. Um, this is not a, 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 a like a full-on game where uh, if you lose twice, you you it's your job. You have to stay and play, you know, because you're scrimming, right? It's this is not scrims when they play on ladder, right? If if it's a rough night, they just stop, right? But here it's a tournament. You need to be able to reset, and I think that also will maybe define some of the great teams coming out of this tournament uh, and for future tournaments, right? It's who who has this adaptability, who can. Who, Wipe the memory clean and, and go next, right? And I think that's a very, very important factor and in all of esports. And, and Gala, I don't know, you have been playing competitive as well. Like, what's your, your thought about this? I think you maybe have a bit more experience with this, like resetting in a tournament format. Uh, yeah, I mean, if your mental gets the say it's the better of you, you just automatically go in with a losing mindset and just play worse and just lose instantly. You need to, yeah. like, reset and just think the game is, like, 0-0, zero, zero, just pass off the first game as a... Uh, Try and learn from it, but also just try and forget about it as well. Yeah, I think it's it's a lot easier to do during this as well because obviously, best of three, you've got the next game. You can, you know, if you win that, then you go on to the next game. You can still end up in the winners bracket, but also, you know, you do have the losers bracket to think of. If you know, if German heroes don't end up winning this, then they go down to the losers bracket. They are not out of the tournament. I think we'd have seen something very different if this was during a losers bracket game. They maybe would have tried to have reset. It would have been very difficult for them, but they they would have attempted it at the very very least. Um, Silver Shard Mines, we are loading. In now and it looks as though we do have a couple of changes for both of the teams here three boomkins coming out for speed run um so interesting how sydney moving over from that uh, guardian druid over on to the boomkin we do see both the names are wrong sorry kicks sorry the, the names are wrong uh, german heroes are on the no sorry i am 
No, I am wrong. I am wrong. Sorry, continue. I was, just, I was just trying to say, I was looking at it going, wait, what? Yeah, it looks as though, uh, so wow. it looks as though they are both running to Disc Priests, which again, as we've mentioned, uh, you know, can be relatively powerful in team battles, but you've got to make sure they are looking out for those, uh, looking out for all of those various different, uh, the, the mana issues that they can have. And then we do have the Resto Druid versus the Holy Paladin Gelu. Is that healer, you know, is that difference in healer composition going to mean much going into Silver Shard Mines for these two teams? Uh, I mean, as Eddie said earlier, Holy Paladin defensives have been nerfed. The sacrifice being shorter. Resta Druid healing is just absurd currently as well. Yeah. So I, I think Resta Druid does have the upper hand here. I think so too. And uh, the thing is, there's not many Resta Druids either on ladder. Lyra is one of the probably the best Resta Druid right now, honestly. Um, considering the, the recent tier list leaked on the European uh, uh, <laughs> forums. But um, again, I, I agree, Kex. Great point about the triple booming coming in for, for German heroes. I think that is the way to go. Um, try try to have a lot of mobility for the outcasts, as, as we see right now. They are pushing in here, but they are going for a 2v3, it seems like. So this, I would favor for speedrun here. Oh, it's a 3v3. Okay. It's a 3v3. Yeah, 3v3 there. We do see, obviously them trying to set up the the best position that they can. Whoever opens up first here is obviously kind of potentially a an automatic disadvantage, but we do see a couple more players coming across, seeing if they can get these early caps over here, and immediately the team fight is coming in. We've got spells flying left and right for every single one of these teams here. Vildi is already dead on the side of German heroes. That paladin got blown up. Wow, and uh, that should not happen in the team fight right now. It's only a DK warrior and warlock, and they managed to kill Wilde. And not only let Lyra Lol float to mid, securing the card. Maybe actually they die here. And with the death, the points will tick faster for Alliance. I'm pretty sure Alliance will turn this around. If they get the last kill, then they it. actually got it. Every kill in the card means one point tick, so you don't have to wait for the initial ticks. But here on 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 Lava, I'm not sure German heroes. How how did Wilde drop to, to three DPS with three? healers helping him. That and he should have bubble as well. He just didn't want to commit it. I guess so, yeah. I mean, the miscommunication. But I mean, <laughs> at least they get mid and I mean, this lava, they have some people fighting for it, but I feel like they shouldn't even bother. There's no way they can be able to force split it right now, can they? I no, they, they can't. Try and, uh, hold them there and just leave it. As they try and capture top as well, Dave going in should be able to just be able to keep this one. As but they don't need two. Floating over. Yeah, they yeah don't but having two, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, right now, Speedrun is resting now, and, and the next lava that spawns is the is the kite you want to fight for. With two boomies up here, German Heroes is probably going to die here, actually, because Speedrun has way more members here. There's there's no way with two boomies out and, and already a red dead that, that you can win this card. Maybe the, this will be the swing back, honestly. I mean, committing to the game is so weird. I, I don't know why they would do that. They're completely outnumbered too many yeah. people up at top and it just doesn't make any sense they should have split off the mid much earlier yeah, yeah. i mean we saw there obviously siana dropping down on that red paladin which obviously means that there are a lot fewer players there that, and gh leader dropping down on that rogue as well german heroes losing a couple of players left and right sydney under a lot of pressure here is sydney going to be able to survive i don't think so there goes sydney so sydney yeah. dropping down as well and once again we're getting those staggered deaths speed run potentially looking at taking this german heroes you know, it looks like they started off on. They were able to turn that one cart very, very quickly, but Speedrun, once again, have just turned it around and they are putting the pressure. But we do see Shaman going down and a big, big group of people coming in from Speedrun here, potentially trying to take, uh, turn that, uh, sorry, German heroes here, trying to take that over. But once again, it looks as though Speedrun are in a relatively comfortable position. Yeah, especially if they secure this lava card, this will be very major. Mid is just getting secured as well, and it looks like on the UI that top is about to... At least it's ticking for them, right? But it will cap in two minutes, so it is still a card they can fight for, but... I think German heroes, they need to, they need to regroup now. And with the death of Harley now as well, they, they really need to commit lava here, get the complete wipe, get next lava, and then use that to push top and go mid. Like, they, I know this sounds very, very hard, like, uh, hard to explain, but it, it, these cards go on a timer, right? This right now is 90 seconds to cap. Mid has a two minute standard uh, cap, right? So with this next lava, they can go top and they can go mid and they can go lava. You can just keep running circles. So you need the momentum here. and. And then again, Harley, he, he's respawned and speedrun stabilized. Yeah, Harley dropped down. And you think with that healer going, Gallo, that 
German heroes would be able to comp it, like basically work around that, but it hasn't worked at all. Yeah, I mean, they have the numbers now on Lava, though, so maybe they can actually team fight this off. Fielder has no cooldowns, there's no cooldowns from the priests either. And the, but the mana's looking pretty good, but here comes the actual fight. As the cart just ticks over into center, no one's defending it, no one needs to right now. Someone's breaking off from Lava, Rebzy going for it. But they, they really need to try and capture Lava on the side of German heroes. They've just had no cart the entire game ever since the opener. Yeah, they just have yeah. too many ideas right now. They want to fight for a card, but they don't go for the kills, so they it will never turn. Then they want to run to the off cards, but Revsi, look, Revsi has such a great event. Like, he has been on point this whole game, always the first guy in the car, right? And that is what you need from, from your off card players. You need people with brains who can move, and, and he's showcasing what that is. Yeah, it's so, so impressive. And not only that, it's, it, as you mentioned, it's it's impressive that, you know, they're the first of the carts. They're the first picking everything up. It's it's it, it is it is very difficult for German heroes to break this. And it, they're, they're fighting over this this cart here for lava. But every single time they do, it doesn't work out for them. We're seeing Dave Sidra go down, GH Leader going down as well on the side of German heroes. Speedrunner absolutely blasting through them. And we saw German heroes turn that cart right at the start, and it was, you know, it was very, very well played. They put the pressure on, but ever since that, Speedrun has just absolutely dominated German heroes. Yeah, I don't know, Gallo. What do you think? Uh, do you think it was a mistake they went for top? I mean, I mean uh, two, there's uh, been a lot of mistakes made this game. They keep committing to lava, but they don't even get lava. They don't peel off fast enough to mid, and uh, they just let top just cap on its own half the time, and no, no one even challenges it. And with that, German heroes left the server and chooses to go into lower bracket. They are not gonna fight anymore. And yeah, Gallo, I, I completely agree. A lot of mistakes, especially also the opener we saw, the Paladin dying to three DPS with three healers with him, bubble available and even wall, I think. So yeah, I mean, you need to press your bottoms if you want to win, right, in the end. So yeah. Yeah, exactly. German heroes looks as though they are leaving the server once again, as we saw in a Rafi Basin speedrun. Once again, speedrun by name, speedrun by nature. And, um, you know, honestly, two fairly dominating victories for them. And German heroes, I'm not sure what the, um, I'm not sure kind of what's happening there, but uh, Gallo, it does seem as though that they seem to be lost for ideas. Yeah, I mean, they just, well, they don't seem to be lost for ideas. They seem to have too many ideas. They seem to want to do five different things at one time, and none of them pan out. They want a team fight, and they want a ninja, but it's just, they overcommit to both, and neither works out. They need to just go in, win the team fight, or ninja cap bases. They can't just do everything. Yeah, great play from Speedrun and great cinematic view as well from our observers here. Amazing, <laughs> just following the cards. It's something you don't really see every day, like the, how much is actually uh, put into the design. You can say, okay, the map is 10 years old now, but when it was <laughs> created, uh, there are so many areas you can't even enter, right? But they, there's still a great design there. So a big shout out for to, to, to the game itself and the bracket. And yeah, kicks lower bracket for, for German heroes. Yeah, lower bracket. We do see Speedrun moving on. They will be taking on German Academy in the upper brackets. And we do see German Heroes taking on Ghosting Farm in the lower brackets. One thing I want to hit on there, Eddie, we, we've mentioned previously how important it is for some of these maps. Obviously, teams will have plans going yep. in. They will know that they want to do X, Y, and Z. But, um, you know, th th there are certain maps that this is more important on. But at the same time, you do have to be very, very aware of what's going on. You have to be reactive. And it feels to me as though German heroes are going into these maps saying, right, okay, this is what we want to do. This is how we're going to be playing this map. And then as soon as the opposition team does something that doesn't go to that plan, they immediately seem to go, what do we do next? And, yeah. you know, it, it feels as though they are they are struggling to adapt to what is in front of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think it, co it comes from the fact that, I mean, they are very set in their place. That's also why they have a good uh, team fight initially. And uh, they had a plan. They went for mid, they got it. They went for top, they got that. But Leva struggled, right? And if they were able to stay alive there, I think the game would have looked a lot different but yeah i mean as you say right they're good at the planning but they're not good at adapting <laughs> sadly yeah and would you would you agree with that galley yeah i mean the planning is good but the execution's just bad they uh it was the same in last game as well you know they go out 
they have the strat. They go, they can, okay, send this guy here, send him there. But then when anything disrupts that plan, it's just nothing happens. Like, they can't adapt at all. Like, there's nothing, there's no countermeasures. If, if something doesn't go their way and something happens they don't expect, they just fell on their face. And uh, by the way, they left both games. I, I feel like the comms weren't particularly clear. So maybe they're a little bit angry at each other. So it's just never good going into a tournament. Yeah, and as, as you mentioned, kind of being that, making sure that you're, you're in the right state frame of mind as well can also be something that is uh, relatively difficult uh, to get through. But uh, we do see, obviously, German heroes moving down to that lower bracket. They're going to be taking on Ghosting Farm, Speedrun move on against German Academy. That is going to be a fantastic match. I do feel as though that is going to be a fantastic match between German Academy and Speedrun. Excited for that one. But we are going to be moving down to our lower brackets. Shame versus unknown unknown super super excited for that one obviously we now move into the area where teams can fully drop out of the tournament who's going to be leaving us will it be shame will it be known unknown don't go anywhere you will find out very soon 